Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing linear inequalities and this is the lecture number 3. I hope you have already watched part 1 and 2 before watching this part 3 because this is a connected lecture. So, you need to learn first basic from lecture 1 and 2. Then only you will be able to understand this lecture 3. So, please go through. If you want to watch, uh, watch yet uh, lecture 1 and 2, then please go to them. Uh, watch lecture 1 and 2 before watching this part 3. Now, in this lecture, I am going to solve some problems. What we have the given concept, uh, I have given concept to you um, in lecture 1 and lecture 2. On the basis of that, I am going to solve some questions in this lecture. So, let us start. Question number 12 is there, and uh, that question is. Uh, let us this question 12. We are going to discuss from 12 to 16 from exercise 6.1. Exercise 6.1 from question 12 to 16. Exercise 12 6.1. And we are going to discuss from question number 6.1 and question number 12 to 16, which was left earlier. So that I am going to discuss. So let us start from question number 12. And question number 12 is given here that 1 by 2 into 3x by 5 minus 4 plus 4 in bracket greater than 1 by 3x minus 6. So to solve this question, uh, you can go ahead in the similar way what the basic algebraic calculation you have. And uh, you will be able to learn it like. 2 will go this side and 3 will come this side. So, it will be 3 times of 3x plus 5 plus 4 is greater than 2 times of x minus 6. Further, you can write it 3 3 is 9x by 5 plus 4 3 is 12 is greater than 2x minus 12. So, this 2x will come this side and it will be 9x by 5 minus 2x and this 12 will go this side and it will be uh, minus again. So, minus 12. This employee, this is 9x minus 10x by 5 is greater than minus 24 and which will come up as uh, this one again, this can be written as 9x minus 10x is minus x by 5 is greater than minus equal to minus 24. So, if I multiply by negative sign, then what will happen? x by 5 is less than equal to 24 and x is less than 120. So, the solution is where for solution is, solution is x belong to minus infinity to 120 closed term and that will be answered. Now, question number 13. Let us discuss question number 13. So, question number 13 is here 2 times of 2x plus 3 minus 10 times minus 10 is less than 6 times of x minus 2. Simple question you can do your own but uh, let me try, uh, let me solve it. So, this is 4x my plus 6 minus 10, this is 6x minus 12. So, that can be written as 6x will come this side, it will be 4x minus 6x is less than 6 will come, this is 6 minus 10, that is minus 4, minus 4 will come this side, it will be plus 4. So, that is minus 2x is less than minus 8 and x is greater than 4. Negative, negative cancel, 2, 4, 8 and because we have divided by minus 2, so sign of inequality will change and therefore, solution is 4 to infinity, 4 to infinity but both are in open term because where is not less than equal to. Now, we have question number 14 and question number 14 is there. Let me solve it quickly. This is 37 minus 3x plus 5 and uh, which is greater than 9x minus 8 times of x minus 3. Right? 8 times of x minus 3. So, even though it is just uh, don't be uh, worried about length of the question. You have to go with the basics. 37 minus 3x minus 5 is greater than 9x minus 8x minus minus plus so it is 24 that will be 37 minus 5 is 32 uh, minus 3x is greater than 9x minus 8x is x plus 24 
so x will come this side it will be our 3x will come this side even so 32 minus 24 is greater than x plus 3x so that will be 8 is greater than 4x and uh, which is x is less than 2. Here 2 is greater than x that is x is less than 2. So solution is less than 2 that is minus infinity to 2 open interval. So this is question number 14. Now question number 15 I can take here and question number 15 is x by 4 is less than 5x minus 2 divided by 3 minus 7x minus 3 divided by 5 right so what to do we can write here the simplification will be there and we can write again x by 4 is less than the lcm is 15 5 will come this side 5 to the 10x minus 5 to the sorry 5 5 to 25 x minus 10 so that will be 25 x minus 10 and 3 will be there so 7 3 is 21 x and minus minus plus so 3 3 is 9 so now this will come here uh, like uh, x by 4 is less than this employee x by 4 is less than 25 minus 25 x this one 5 5 is 25 x 25 x minus 24 x is 4 x and minus 10 plus 9 is minus 1 divided by 15 again 15 will go this side so this will be 15 x and 4 will come this side so 4 multiply by 4 is 16 x minus 4 and if i write here 4 will come this side this will be and uh, symbol is same 15 x will come this side 16 x minus 15 x will be x so x is greater than 4 x is greater than 4 and therefore solution will be 4 to infinity so that is 4 to infinity that will x belong to 4 to infinity now let us discuss question number 16 and 16 is there 16 question is 2x minus 1 upon 3 is greater than or equal to 3x minus 2 upon 4 minus 2 minus x upon 5 if you want to solve it you can go ahead and taking lcm of this side 2x minus 1 by 3 is greater than lcm is 25 for 25 will multiply this side 5 3 by 15 x minus 10 and 4 multiply by 2 that is 8 and due to negative sign sign will change and 4 multiply by x is 4x so that will come further 2x minus 1 upon 3 is greater than or equal to 15x plus 4x is 19x and 10 minus 8 is minus 18 by 20. 20 will multiply this side so 20 to the 40x minus 20 is greater than 19 3 is 57x and 18 3 is 54. So this will come here this side 54 will come this side it will be positive minus 20 and 57 minus x minus 40 x that will come so it will be uh, 34 now 54 minus 20 is 34 is greater than 17 x and therefore x is less than equal to 2 2 is greater than x greater than equal to x so x is less than 2 and therefore solution is solution is x belong to 2 to infinity 2 is closed because it is an equal to and infinity is an open. Now the next questions of the types are from a language problems and some questions. So 17 is one more question. Let us see what is this. Uh, it has to be represented on number line as well. So it is given that 3x minus 2 is less than 2x plus 1. So that means here you can write 3x minus 2x is less than 3 that is x is less than 3 x is less than 3 so you can represent it on number line now so what will be that x is less than 3 so our number line if i draw a number line then what will happen and how we can draw it let me explain this here number line is there and uh, we have to represent x is less than 3. So this is 1. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 
4 like this there is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 like that so x is less than what x is less than 3 x is less than 3 so it must be lesser than 3 here this side right like that so you can write here and uh, the number line it is uh, less than 3 so here must be an open one and you can do like this so this is your number line system you can draw this one out here so it would be good i think so you can draw it the solution will be this side so number is less than 3 now question number 18 is there and what is that question try to understand this has to be also represented on number line so 5x minus 3 is greater than 3x minus 5 this employee 5x minus 3x is greater than equal to minus 5 plus 3 that is 2x is greater than minus 2 and this employee x is greater than equal to minus 1 so x is greater than equal to minus 1 isn't it this is minus 1 so let me write it clearly and now on number line system if i draw this number line here then on number line system it will be greater than minus 1 so i can make it here like uh, this is 0 1 2 3 4 the, there is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 like this and it is greater than minus 1 so i can write here the value greater than equal to minus 1 so i can write this line like this you know and greater than equal to minus 1 so we can make it like this and there is a close one right now so that is minus one, greater than minus 1 so this is the number line system you can draw on it and uh, this will represent x belong to where to where this is minus 1 to infinity and solution is this and on number line you have you can write like this solution is x belong to 1 to infinity and what is solution here? Here is solution is solution is what x belong to solution is x belong to x belong to minus infinity to 3. So like this. The number line, this is the representation of number line. Now there is a question from 17 and onward, and how to deal with the question 18, 19 and onward. Question number 19 is a language problem and it is given here, uh, not language problem, language problem is still away from you and this is 1 minus x, let me write this 19, this is 1 minus x 19 is less than 2 times of x plus 4, that will be also in the similar way you can write 3 minus 3x is less than 2x plus 8. 3x will come this side, it will be 5x and 8 will come this side, it will be minus 5. So, x is greater than minus 1. Again, on number line system, if you want to draw it, you want to show it, you can do it clearly, isn't it? And on number line, you can do that. This is a 0 and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. This is 1, 2, 3 like that. And on number line, you can do that. It is x is greater than minus 1. So it will be like this. Right? It will be like this. And here it must be a open in the open open. No, because it is not included. Not that but open. Next question is 20th question, and let me also solve here only so that it will be completed in this page. And question number 20 is also the similar line that is x by 2 is greater than 5x minus 2 all divided by 3 minus 7x minus 3 upon 5. Uh, clearly we can write here the LCM is 15 x by 2 is greater than or equal to 5 5 here 25 x minus 10 and this is what I did here this is the same question I think so uh, I did here somewhere somewhere I did it but anyway let me do it one again once again this is 10 25x minus 10 
uh, whole divided by 15 minus 21x plus 9 right 21x plus 9 and uh, that will be 15x minus 25x minus 10 so 25x minus 24x is 4x and 4x multiply by 2 is 8x isn't it 8x and here 10 minus 10 minus 1 minus 1 multiply by 2 is minus 2 so the things will come here that 15x minus 8x is minus 7x that is 7x is greater than equal to minus 2 and x is greater than minus 2 by 7 so you can represent this minus 2 by 7 x is greater than minus 2 by 7 you can represent it on number line there is not a big issue and it is not a big problem right so you can do that i hope so now let us uh, solving question number 21 and 21 is what this is a language problem you can do that 21 the question is what ravi obtained it is given here ravi obtained ravi obtained 70 and 75 marks 70 and 75 marks in first two unit test in first two unit test unit test find the max minimum marks find the minimum marks minimum marks just write down he should get in he should get in the third test in the third test right in the third test to have an average of to have an average of average of at least 60 months of at least 60 months 60 months right so you write here for solution if you want to write it let he obtain he get x marks he gets x marks in third test third test right now so average is average they are asking about average so what will be the average of three marks three subject average of their four according to question 70 plus 75 plus x in three paper and divided by three that will be the average and that average must be greater than 60 at least 60 in 60 or more so that can be written as 145 plus x is greater than 180 and x is greater than this is 35 marks so he should get he should get at least 35 marks in third test that will be answered right so this is the question and that is answer now let us discuss question number 22 and what is that let me write this question number 22 22 is to receive grade a receive grade a grade a in a course in a course course one must obtain one must obtain one must obtain an average of an average of 90 marks 90 marks average of 90 marks or more or more in five examination in five examination each of 100 marks each of 100 marks right if sunita sunita marks in first four examination 
marks in first four examination first four examination examination are 87 92 94 and 95 find the minimum marks find the minimum marks minimum marks sunita must obtain sunita must obtain obtain in fifth in fifth examination fifth examination to obtain grade a to obtain grade a in similar way you can write here that sunita let us go solution let sunita score in fifth test fifth test is x marks right so according to question the average is 90 and you have to write 87 plus 92 plus 94 plus 95 plus x divided by 5 must be greater than or equal to 90 at least 90 marks so here 5 4 9 2 11 and 7 18 and 9 9 18 9 3 27 9 36 is greater than 450 right now plus x so x will be greater than 2 and this is 14 minus 6 that is 8 so x must be greater than 80 so she should score therefore sunita should score should score at least 82 marks in fifth paper in fifth paper fifth paper in fifth paper fifth paper right I hope you are getting all these points. Right. Okay. Three. Twenty-three question is there. And this is find all pair of consecutive. Find all pairs of consecutive. Pairs of consecutive even positive integer. Consecutive. Consecutive. Odd positive integers, odd positive integers, integers, both of which are smaller than, both of which are smaller than, are smaller than, both of which are smaller than 10, and such that their sum is more than 11, and such that. Their sum is more than eleven. More than eleven. So we can solve it like this. Let two consecutive odd consecutive odd positive integers. So two consecutive odd positive integers are say x and x plus two. X and x plus two are two consecutive consecutive odd integers odd integers right each one of them is greater than uh, smaller than 10 so x is less than 10 and x plus 2 is also less than 10 and therefore x is less than 8 so these are the two conditions this is 1 and this is 2 two conditions now their sum is more than 11 so as per the conditions their sum x x plus 2 is more than 11 so what will happen 2x is more than 9 and therefore x is more than 4.5 but x is at so from first second and third therefore from first second and third x is an odd integer 
and it is more than 4.5 so x can be 5 7 right now because less than it so 5 and 7 x can be 5 and 7 and therefore integers are integers are either 5 and 7 when x is 5 then this will be 5 this will be 5 plus 2 7 and if x is 7 then 7 plus 2 9 5 and 7 and 9 right now these are the two conditions answer now question number 24 let us see in question number 24 in the similar question find all pair of consecutive find all pairs of consecutive even positive integers consecutive even positive integers positive integers both of which are greater than larger than 5 both of which are larger than 5 larger than 5 and their sum is such that their sum is less than 23 such that their sum is less than less than 23 right so again you can do the same thing you can assume it like solutions let x and x plus 2 are two positive integers two positive even integers positive even integers right so there's each one of them is larger than 5 x is greater than 5 this is 1 x plus 2 is greater than 5 that is uh, x is greater than 3 that is second one and their sum is less than 23 x plus x plus 2 is less than 23 this employee 2x is less than 21 and x is less than 10.5 right now this is third so from first second and third we can have therefore from first second and third we can say x must be greater than 5 and less than x must be greater than 5 and less than 10.5 but x is an even and x is even number even right x is even so value of x can be 6 8 and 10 6 8 and 10 value of x can be 6 8 and 10 and therefore the pair of numbers are pair of numbers are numbers are pair of numbers are when x is equal to 6 then 6 plus 2 that is 8 so 6 8 8 10 and 10 12 these are the three pair of numbers and that will be answer of the question i hope you get for this right now three pairs 6 8 8 10 and 10 12 okay now the next question is question number question number 25 question number 25 and what is that try to understand this question this question is the largest side of a triangle the largest sides of a triangle the largest side of triangle is three times the shortest time is three times the shortest shortest side and side and third side is third side is side is two centimeter shorter than the largest side two centimeter shorter than largest side largest side right if the perimeter of triangle age if the perimeter of triangle age perimeter of triangle is at least 61 centimeter at least 61 centimeter find the minimum length of shortest side find the minimum length minimum length of shortest side length of shortest side right so in that case 
whatever things they are asking you should assume only that one so in solution you should write let the shortest side be shortest side be x centimeter then largest side will be three times largest side be 3x centimeter right now because it is three times and the second side is two centimeters shorter than largest side so the second side is the other side that is second side is b two centimeters shorter than the largest side so 3x minus 2 now according to question their perimeter perimeter is at least 61 centimeter perimeter is sum of all three sides so x plus 3x plus 3x minus 2 is greater than 61 this employs 336 plus 1 7x is greater than 63 2 will come this side will be positive and therefore x is greater than 9 so the last no, shortest side must be at least 9 meter therefore we can write shortest side must be at least 9 centimeter i hope you got it now there is one more question and this question is 26 <coughs> a man wants to cut three lengths a man wants to cut three lengths three lengths from a single piece of wood from a single piece of board, single piece of board, board of length 91 centimeter, length 91 centimeter. The second length is the second length, second length, the second length is to be is to be 3 cm longer longer than the shortest the shortest shortest and the third length and the third third length the third length is to be twice as long as the shortest is to be twice as long as shortest shortest what are the possible length what are the possible length of shortest board the possible length of shortest board shortest board board if the third piece if the third piece is is to be at least is to be at least five centimeter longer than the second five centimeter longer than the second longer than the second five centimeter longer than the second second right so here try to understand this question what is the question what they are saying and what is important cut three lengths three pieces are there and the total length is 91 centimeter the length of this the second length three centimeter longer than shortest so first of all we should take it shortest and second length 3 cm longer than x plus 3 third length is twice as long as second so the shortest is let shortest length let shortest length be x cm then second length must be what this is x plus 3 cm and the third length is twice twice as long as the shortest so third length must be equal to 2x twice as long as shortest so 2x 
according to question their length is what will be the board length is 91 what should be the possible shortest length so it is total 91 so this must be less than or equal to 91 so according to question we can write it x plus x plus x plus 3 total length plus 2x is less than equal to 91 maximum 91 centimeter is there so it must be less than 91 centimeter 3x plus x 4x is less than 88 and therefore x is less than 22 this is the first case now again there is a second condition that third piece is at least 5 cm longer than the second. So it means third piece is 2x. This is the first one. Third piece is 2x. 2x at least 5 cm longer than the second. So it's greater than x plus 3 plus 5, at least 5. Right now? So this is. 2x minus x that is x is greater than 8. So this is second condition. So the possible length of therefore possible length possible length must be equal to length must be equal to minimum 8 and maximum 22. This is the possibility and that will be answer. So I hope you got this isn't it. You understood the concept how to deal with this inequality in board problems and that's all for today we will discuss after the break the next uh, topic until then god bless you keep watching thank you thank you very much